Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. Let's see what's going on. What are the messages for the collective? What are the messages? Ooh. Oh my gosh, we got gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. Okay. Irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. So this looks like, hold on. Habits. I don't know if we will ever change. And regrets. I wish this never happened. This looks like <laughs> this person, someone you are dealing with, is still thinking about your love and how it's unmatched. But they're worried about what people think. So people could be in this person's ear. I feel like they're also thinking about, with the habits card, it's like they're thinking about how things went back then. They think it's going to be the same. Or if it's recent. But they do have a lot of regret, as you see with the regret card. Let me see what's going on here. Um, diamond in the rough. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's just analyze these cards. I'm going to put them back and shuffle again. But we got date casually. We got financial windfall. New money, increase in finances, unexpected income, job offer, pay rise, business on the up and up. Follow your heart, it leads to abundance. So a money message wanted to come out for you. You're going to be attracting a lot more abundance. It could be unexpected. It could be a pay rise. You know, everything this card says. But it definitely wanted to come out for you we have more to the story something unknown will be revealed something isn't adding up read between the lines lies deceit betrayal backstabbing so there's that which kind of connects with gossip the fact that people are talking to this person so let's see what else comes out what are the messages for independence We got a Bronx tail. I'm sensing new love as well with Bronx tail. And we got runaway love, runner, possible divine connection, ghosting, unsure of where you stand, highs and lows, queen and slim, Bonnie and Clyde, elope. So it's like a complicated situation between you and this person. But it looks like there's some kind of new connection. Ooh, <laughs> new love. So it looks like there's some kind of new connection coming in as well. But it's like there's, it's, oh my gosh, okay, it's like this, this, um, the last story isn't over is what I want to say, or the last story hasn't ended, or it's coming to an end, coming to a close. Some kind of information will be revealed is what I feel. So let's see. What are the messages for the collective? the messages three of cups I feel like, yeah, there, there's, okay, so the person who feels like um, they haven't found anyone who matches the love that you give, they're going to be seeing you move on. Like, they're viewing this as someone took you from them. Could be a Gemini, a Cancer, Gemini again. <laughs> this person's viewing the situation as you being taken away from them. Someone took their person, basically is what I'm getting because this card gives this vibe of the unfinished business like maybe they didn't give you closure so it's still up in the air but then you find new love and they start to feel like you know they start to feel some type of way clarify the three of cups please okay we got the two of cups showing itself You could be um, exploring options. Some of you are opening yourself up to love or just dating, just 
kind of a carefree type of style not really trying to attach to anyone yet until you find the right person um but i see you focusing on some kind of skill as well some kind of project business whatever it is maybe this is why you feel like just being open to dating because you did have the date casually card that showed itself but i feel like because you have something to focus on it's like okay at least i won't be focusing on a person so i feel like a lot of you are allowing yourself to see what's out there but not really like getting attached to anyone but this could lead you to some kind of relationship it could be that you're not planning to end up in this relationship but let's see why the eight of swords in reverse yeah you're freeing yourself from some kind of traditional thing like you may have done things a certain way when it comes to love in the past and now maybe you're trying to like just be a bit more free with your love life like just seeing maybe you're maybe you're expanding your taste your type it's, it's definitely this freeing energy with the eight, eight of swords in reverse maybe you had like one type but now you <laughs> Now you're just seeing what else is out there, what kind of personalities are out there. Why the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? There is something going on with the past person, I'm sorry, but they see this as a game. When it comes to you possibly committing to someone, even though you didn't plan to or, you know, Maybe, maybe this Ten of Pentacles is speaking about your financial windfall. Whatever it is, the ex, I'm getting that they could be competing with you as well. Not all of you. That kind, that message literally just kind of came in sideways. <laughs> so if your ex is materialistic, they could be competing with you because of your financial windfall. But they're definitely competing about something. This past person with this Five of Swords. And it could be low-key like them acting like they're not but they are verify the lovers in reverse with the chariot the three of swords wanting to come out so this i told you <laughs> i told you this person is viewing this as a third party situation because you have picked someone else you, you're moving on to someone new or you're being more open and this past person is viewing this as that that they're still involved and that this is a triangle so them and the new person they feel are in competition for you you may not even know this i feel like for some of you those of you who are dealing with a person who has a lot of pride they they're doing this secretly but with the lovers in reverse three of swords some of you you could be moving on from this person maybe there was some betrayal or they just broke your heart and you're moving on but whatever it is it's still like the ace of pentacles still something financial going on for you so even if you're not trying to move on to a new person you could be just moving on to a new lifestyle okay with these pentacles and the financial windfall why the seven of pentacles oh my god two of cups trying to show itself again queen of wands in reverse this is the gossip card emperor in reverse knight of wands in reverse oh my god here come the haters here come the haters because we do have diamond in the rough you know this story about you reaching your full potential and people being upset so there's gossip here it could be to do with this past connection or it could be separate because this card says gossip but then it says i'm afraid of what people would think so it could be about the connection that you left behind or it could be other people that you are not dating like just people around who are gossiping about you but it's because of some kind of financial thing or some kind of investment that you've made or business plan that you have careful not to tell people about your business because there's gossip here and hate and control people trying to um hearing bad mouth bad mind your stuff okay so and with the king of wands in reverse king of wands queen of wands in reverse with the emperor in reverse this is all ego here this is all 
ego, control, jealousy. So it's like people see you planting your seeds, you know, or getting your harvest. They see because with the financial windfall, it's like things are growing for you. You still have impatience with it. And then these cards come out to, to involve themselves with this situation. And the message is clear. Be careful of people when it comes to your finances. Clarify the magician in reverse, please. Yeah, there's gonna be some truth that comes out. Someone's watching your page, but this could be linked to that more to the story card that came out. I do feel like for a lot of you, there's some kind of big reveal of lies that have been told, things that were said behind your back. It's like unfortunate, but you're getting the truth. So you may hear, maybe it's people that you thought were your friends. Where did I hear that? I was listening to something earlier about someone talking about how um, heartbroken they were to find out that their closest friends were the problem, but it was okay because they got the truth. So that's what I'm seeing here as well, that it's going to be revealed who these manipulators were, but it's, it's the truth which sets you free, even if it's, even if it's heartbreaking about friends family it still sets you free because now you know who they are so could be an aries cancer gemini you're dealing with let's look at your main spread so you could be doing music i literally just unintentionally made a made a beat with my nails <laughs> it sounded like a music beat but um, let's see. What's going on? What are the messages for the collective? Okay. Yeah, this is all about you moving on the chariot you're being seen as the chariot so people are like seeing you or this person seeing you move on move forward actually being productive doing stuff So this is, that's strange, why is judgment here? Clarify judgment please, let me see what this is really talking about, why is judgment here? If, hold on, it could be the person wanting, wanting to start over with you. Because there's like a fear of not being able to heal a situation. So we judgment as the wish. Could be wanting to make peace, wanting to wanting a do-over. I did say that this person's gonna be kind of inserting themselves into a new relationship of yours or your new life. Or trying to insert themselves. Why the two of cups in reverse? Sorry, reverse again. This person's focusing on something about you um, having a turnaround in your life, having really good luck after the breakup. So I don't know if they're about to see you shine or your eyes shining or life has gone really well, but they're seeing you as having really good luck after the breakup, after things ended or after you have become distant from them. Why the, that yeah, there's something about improvement without them. So someone's noticing, it doesn't even have to be a lover, it could be parent, whoever, 
someone's noticing how better you are doing without them or since you've been away from them or how much more you're smiling and how happy you are clarify the nine of pentacles in reverse yeah, there's someone feeling rejected by you they're watching your page it does look like the ex who still feels like they're in a relationship with you because they view a relationship with you as them not being single them being around this ex could be dealing with financial issues as well and it could be like i said before that they're competing with or trying to compete with you financially or just trying to compete with you for some reason but you are moving very quickly doing a lot of creative things or just maybe just with your appearance but someone is seeing how better you're doing without them that's like the main thing clarify the chariot yeah it's, it's someone feeling left behind shut out left behind blocked and then you got the empress here so you're moving on you're in this empress energy they feel like you've dropped them completely and that's it they could be checking your page to see if you're gonna say anything that relates to them and you just don't say anything about them and they see that clearly you're doing well so we got the ace of pentacles in reverse twice so whoever this is they're feeling rejected they could have financial issues for some reason why the star in reverse yeah there's some either they're either they're fearing that they'll never heal or they're fearing that they'll never heal the situation with you then ne they'll never be able to they seem to fantasize about it and they're indecisive about reaching out i'm being drawn to this card again irresistible the way you love can never be matched so it's like they're like okay what if i can never heal this relationship because this is in their fear position ten of swords so they could have betrayed you in the past and they feel like this is what's going to happen if they try to reach out clarify the lovers please you see i'm telling you it's about your new relationship i just glimpsed the king of cups in reverse so this past person could have been manipulative emotionally some of you i'm hearing the wait is over and it is with the seven of pentacles in reverse some of you manifest in a relationship or you already have that's what's blocking this situation for this person is the lovers this new love some of you are not even waiting for it anymore. Some of you already got it with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you do already have it, this ex of yours secretly thinks that they're in competition. Secretly thinks that they're a part of this. <laughs> Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. So, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. They're not going to take any action, especially with the Four of Swords. Ten of Cups in reverse. This is someone's next move. There's no action with the Knight of Pentacles. They're kind of accepting this as karma, but I feel like they daydream about something to do with you a lot. Why the Queen of Cups? By the Queen of Cups. Yeah. So what you need to know is your intuition is always right. You may have detected a lot of lies with this person. You may even pick up on the fact that they may be competing with you or for you with the Five of Wands. Whatever it is, something your intuition is picking up on with the Queen of Cups. Either the lies or the what you feel like if you feel like this there's some kind of secret competition, you're definitely right. If you feel like they lied to you, you're definitely right. With the ace of swords in reverse, there's some kind of lie here. Or they're trying to present portray themselves in some kind of way that you're picking up on. You're picking up on the truth. 
It could be that they're trying to act like they're going somewhere, but they're not with the Eight of Wands being in reverse twice at the bottom of the decks. Okay. So, why the sun is the outcome? The sun is your outcome, by the way. So there could be improvement with the financial situation. Yeah, this is like, the sun is coming out for you. You got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse. So if you've had bad relationships or this was a real terrible relationship in the recent past, definitely the sun is coming out. Tell me more about the sun. That's the outcome. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius. Moving on. Yeah. The sun is coming out after a bad, bad love situation. Moving on, Six of Swords, and then the Fool. So a brand new situation for a lot of you. But let me see. Get some Oracle cards. What are the messages for the collective? Sorrow, loss, grief, depression. I feel like it's hitting this person hard honestly they may have been worried about what people would think that thinking missing you craving desiring again i say again because it came up in a, in one of the last readings it wasn't far back what are the messages rejection abandoned dismissed irrational fear so like i said here they're seeing you as a chariot and they feel like you just dropped them you've just shut them out we got running ghosting disappearing invisible so i don't know if you have run from this situation to just start a new life because you maybe you're fed up or something but they feel just completely dropped they could have been the one who used to run away from you in the past. What are the messages? That drained energy vampire. It's like a graphic image, so let's just turn it over. Faded, loss, loss again. Look at this. Well, this one says lost, but it's a similar energy. What are the messages? Investigating, looking for evidence. So they could be trying to figure out if you really have someone. And even this card says, vamp this book says the vampire. And this card that I turned over says energy vampire. So yeah, they probably don't have anyone to drain at the moment. We have boundaries. Protecting your energy is self-care. What are the messages? It's safe to fall. Very soon. They adore you and fresh start. I told you that full energy is what's happening. I feel like a lot of you were just at that point. Because even with the independent card, it's like just, I just see you having this, this new type of regimen. <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do this creative thing, or I'm gonna work on this skill, and I'm just gonna focus on everything I wanna do. Maybe date casually, have a few options, and get to know them and see if there's anything out there. But I don't feel like you're planning to actually meet someone. I feel like it's just very carefree. As you know, that type of energy attracts actual love. So this new thing you have going on is really going to work for you. Let's see. 
other messages. Yeah, Ice King, Boss, Entrepreneur, Detached. They have a mature woman at the bottom. This could be that you're meeting a entrepreneur person. But when this first came out, the first thing that came to our mind was the fact that this person does not want you to know all of this. I think they're very prideful. I feel like this person relied on your reaction, may have sat back and waited for you to react to things, post things, kind of try and read between the lines to see, because even with the investigating card, trying to read between the lines to see if you're talking about them, if you're missing them, if, you know, while trying to portray themselves as this ice king or queen. But it's like they're finding nothing and it's come, it's becoming a reality to them that it's not working anymore. They have freedom, casual, being single, lightness. Gossip again. Mm. Neighbors, small talk, grapevine. What is going on? We've got work, profession, colleague, workplace. I see you're just being focusing, focused on work. Look at this. Similar energy. Let's see what's going on with this gossip. Seven of swords already. Why the gossip? I wonder if it's this actual person, your actual ex who's gossiping. Someone's talking about someone's emotions. Hold on. Tell me more about the gossiping situation. What's the gossip? Who's gossiping? They're manipulating the gossip to make it sound the way they want it to sound. And this was at the bottom of the deck before. Seven, six, of, six of swords, oh my God. Six of pentacles. So there is gossip surrounding, it could be if you're in, in the new relationship, people are gossiping about it or that you could be in one right now. It's like maybe you're not putting out enough details so people are trying to find it, investigate and gossip. Yeah, it looks like they're in a relationship now. Did you see that post, that type of thing? Some are manipulating the information to make it fit what they want it to fit. Some of you, they could be gossiping about if you do have financial increase right now, they could be saying that you got it from someone. That someone gave it to you, that it was handed to you. You know, trying to manipulate information, trying to downplay your work. There could be gossip about why your relationship ended, if there was betrayal. These are weak people, as you see, the sun in reverse. These are people who have nothing better to do, obviously, because that's, that's the type that gossips. It's a lot of Leo energy and, and Gemini. Aquarius, Cancer, Libra. Let me see. What are the messages for the collective? Roll the dice. Relationship, I'm telling you, oh my gosh. Some of you are taking a chance on this new relationship. Family, it could end up you being a family with this person. Signs and synchronicities will let you know. Sorry about that. But yeah, there is going to be a relationship there could be a lot of synchronicities when you meet this person like like a lot <laughs> to really let you know or they could just have like a lot of green flags you know tick a lot of boxes you know you using your discernment to see if they're the right person but this one looks like it's happening it's like even people are gossiping about it 
maybe you're not really public about relationships but hmm okay let's see let's see what are the messages negative energies might be around goodness have patience romantic and cross borders person could be from abroad this is that's the message that comes out like a lot for new love i don't know why but a lot of you are meeting <laughs> people from abroad maybe you don't have to move but maybe they're from somewhere else maybe they have an accent like i said earlier some of you may be like widening your types and maybe you're looking to like other cultures other accents all of that stuff i don't know but the cross border card always comes out when it comes to new love so either you're moving somewhere you can travel somewhere and meet someone or they're from somewhere else but it's definitely different of course because it's not like this past person who you may have had to go back and forth with all the time it's very different which I feel is why it's gonna work and I don't know what your past person person's problem is but it's like they, they they're just behind the scenes I can literally feel them like behind the scenes like I said it could be them gossiping but it doesn't have to be but they're lurking like you may you may even feel their energy too but not really focusing on it because i just feel like i just feel like you want to focus on better things you're not even focusing on on a relationship is what i feel i feel like you're more focused on yourself um tell me about this gossip card up here there's some okay oh my gosh so some this is a oh my gosh queen of swords in reverse king of swords in reverse there could have really been people in this person's ear maybe that's why they regret it so much it's not the first time this has come up in a reading about people in a person's ear turning them away from you and look at the cards that clarify it queen of swords in reverse knight of swords in reverse this is bad so if they listen to this part to these people they definitely regret their actions they definitely regret that because Even if you can even look up these cards yourself in reverse, these are these are people and basically look at the personalities of these two in reverse. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse. They have an agenda, whoever whoever they were listening to. Why the irreplaceable card? Clarify that, please. So they may have this person's obsessed with your transformation and they could be a little bit delusional with <laughs> with the seven of cups in reverse they could actually like really daydream about you i feel like they didn't feel your love until it was gone until they lost it especially with the lost card and the loss grief and depression it's like now they look back on the love and they're like oh my god that was that was actually good but now this person's transformed completely they're on a whole different chapter and it's like that's where this fear is coming from of them feeling like okay might not be able to heal this connection <laughs> with the star in reverse twice and then and the ten of one oh my god the ten of swords the ten of swords and the four of cups like this is this really is their fear and it's like they're lurking in the back and it's like you might be in a relationship so they're investigating some of you have put it out there that you're in a relationship but 
If you have, then they're definitely competing. If you haven't, they're trying to figure it out. I feel like this person knows that you're happy for some reason. Even if you haven't moved on, maybe you're just happy about this project that you have going on. And they see that and they're just thinking, oh, there must be someone making you happy. I don't know, but it's like they're lurking. But your main focus and even your outcome is all about a new beginning. My apologies again. So I was saying that this is going to be a very new project for you, a very new start. It starts with you. I feel like it's, you're very focused on self. You're very focused on what you love, like doing what you love. And it's just a really good energy to be in. So definitely, definitely keep going. Why negative energies? Something about your ideas. Try not to share your ideas with anyone. Because with the card, with the card saying negative energies might be around, it's like you might be talking and the wrong person could be listening, okay? So definitely protect your work. With the Eight of Pentacles, protect your ideas and your work and, you know, your information about your financial income with these pentacles being here because it's like this negative energy surrounding what you're building for yourself with all this gossiping energy <laughs> might not be the time to go telling people your ideas because word is spreading even about your love life and you're not even some of you are not even putting it out there like that so you know how it is but with the negative energies might be around it's like protection is needed especially with this card here as it says boundaries protecting your energy is self-care so definitely definitely with these messages that are coming out that's um the best thing at this point so yeah i definitely see an unexpected relationship as you focus on yourself but the past person's being strange and people are gossiping um i don't know what their deal is there's like people gossiping about you in general about your love life mainly but there, there were people gossiping to your past person and now they regret listening. So that's that's a message there. So basically, I feel like the reason why the ex is acting like this is because they really, they were really kind of tricked out of this relationship. They chose to listen to the wrong people, associate with the wrong people. Now they're kind of like stuck investigating and regretting hoping there's a way in, but kind of feeling like there isn't, okay? So, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope this was helpful, let me see. And speaking of that, regretting the Five of Cups in reverse. Clarify, clarify investigating, looking for evidence. They may find what they're looking for with the Two of Swords in reverse. Or maybe you're getting ready to post about it. We got the devil here. They're obsessed. I was just about to end the reading and, <laughs> and this obsession comes out. Strength in reverse. The devil. They're obsessively looking. Lurking is what I should say. But the, the, the two of swords in reverse. It's about hidden information being real. So either you're posting about it or they're finding out about it or they're still listening to gossip. I don't know, but they're investigating and they are, I just feel like it's their moment to realize what they had, really, to be honest. So, yeah, could be a Capricorn, could be a Libra. There's a lot of Leo energy here and Gemini and Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, 
Gemini. Yeah, those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.